morning welcome to the session i am asha and i'm going to help you with the following question that says use the factor theorem to determine whether gx is a factor of px in each of the following cases so before solving this problem let us first learn what does factor theorem say this theorem says that if px is any polynomial of degree greater than or equal to 1 and a is any real number then first is x minus a is a factor of px if pa is equal to 0 and second is pa is equal to 0 if x minus a is a factor of px so this theorem is a key idea that we will be using in this problem to find its solution let us now start with the solution the first one is px is equal to 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 and we have to check whether gx which is equal to x plus 1 is a factor of px or not so according to the factor theorem gx which is equal to x plus 1 you can further be written as x minus of minus 1 is a factor of px if p at minus 1 is equal to 0 so let us find the value of p at minus 1 if it comes 0 this implies gx is a factor of px if it does not come 0 this implies gx is not a factor of px so replacing the variable x by minus 1 in px we have 2 minus 1 whole cube plus minus 1 whole square Minus two times of minus one minus one, which is equal to two minus one whole cube is minus one, plus minus one whole square is one, minus into minus is plus. This gives two minus one, which is further equal to minus two, plus one, plus two minus one. Minus two cancels out with plus two, and plus one with minus one, and we get the result as. Zero. So we have p at minus one is equal to zero. This implies x minus of minus one is a factor of p x. This implies x plus one is a factor of p x, and x plus one is nothing but gx so gx is a factor of px so this completes the first part let us now proceed on to the next part where px is equal to x cube plus 3x square Plus 3x plus 1, and gx is equal to x plus 2. And we have to check is gx a factor of px. According to a key idea, 
gx is a factor of px if px minus 2 is equal to 0 since x plus 2 can be written as x minus of minus 2. So let us now find the value of the polynomial px when x is replaced by minus 2. And we have minus 2 whole cube plus 3 into minus 2 square plus 3 times of minus 2 plus 1. Now simplifying it further, minus 2 whole cube is minus 8 plus 3 minus 2 whole square is 4. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 plus 1 which is further equal to minus 8 plus 12 minus 6 plus 1. Now minus 6 plus minus 8 is minus 14. And on adding 12 with 1, we have plus 13. So this comes equal to minus 1. Thus, P at minus 2 is equal to minus 1, which is not equal to 0. So this implies x minus of minus 2 is not a factor of gx. Or x plus 2, which is equal to gx, is not a factor of px. This is px. So this completes the second part. And now proceeding on to the last part. Where Px is equal to x cube minus 4x square plus x plus 6 and gx is equal to x minus 3. Again here we have to check is gx a factor of Px. According to our key idea, gx which is equal to x minus 3 is a factor of px if p at 3 is equal to 0. So let us find the value of the polynomial px when x is replaced by 3. If it comes equal to 0, this implies gx is a factor of px. Otherwise, it is not a factor of Px. So, replacing x by 3, we have 3 whole cube minus 4 into 3 whole square plus 3 plus 6. 3 whole cube is 27 minus 4. 3 whole square is 9. 3 plus 6 is 9. Which is further equal to 27 minus 9 4 so 36 plus 9 and on adding 27 with 9 we get 36 minus 36 this comes equal to 0 and hence the value of the polynomial px at x is equal to 3 is 0 so this implies x minus 3 is a factor of px and x minus 3 is nothing but gx. Thus we can say gx is a factor of px. So this completes the third part. Let us now write down the answers. In the first part, we saw that gx was a factor of px. Therefore, our answer is yes. In the second part, gx was not a factor of px. And in the third part, gx was the factor of px. Hence, our answer is yes. So, please do remember.
remember the factor theorem while doing these types of problems. Hope you enjoyed this session. Take care and have a good day.